We've all heard of blue screens. We've even got used to the idea of green screens. The process of making a certain colour within your film transparent is called keying, and it's most commonly seen when an actor stands in front of a coloured screen which is replaced with a different background. However, as we'll see in this film, with a little imagination you can use keying to create some nice effects. By the way, none of the keying shown in this film is perfect, it's just to give you a rough idea. For a really good key, you should use an intensely deep colour and illuminate it with lights of the same colour. We've got this blue material, nice blue material from just an ordinary fabric shop. Put it up over there and we're going to turn this rather thumb drum scene into a tropical paradise. First the basics. Remember that you don't need to have a blue screen everywhere behind your subject. Large parts of your picture, basically any way your actor won't be moving in front of, can be made transparent with a simple mask. We're using After Effects here. Select the pen tool and draw a box around everywhere you want to cut out, and the unwanted parts are gone. This is commonly called a junk mask, and you can soften the edges of it by using the feathering function. Then the area around your actor needs to be keyed out. There are multiple types of keys to choose from in After Effects, our advice is to start with a simple one, and if that does the job, then fine. If not, work your way up to some of the complex ones, like the Color Difference key, which is very powerful, but an absolute bitch to configure. Select the key color, then adjust the tolerance level, which specifies how closely the pixels must match the key color before they start becoming transparent. Try and find the point just before bits of the actor start disappearing. If your actor still has a blue halo, don't panic. Try using the choker, which expands the areas that have been selected for keying out and can do a good job of getting rid of those last bits of blue or green. So here's a shot of me on a freezing cold beach in England. The bits of the background we don't want are masked. The blue is keyed out, and there you have it. Magically transported to the Caribbean. Garçon, another pina colada please. Any solid colour background can work as a key, such as a blue sky, or in this case an overcast sky. Just remember, as long as the background is a different colour to the actor, you can key it out. This is the life, isn't it? Sun, sand, sea, palm trees, tropical island, the Burj Al Arab Hotel, The bad guys hide out from the spy who loved me. Sunset. <sighs> Fuck me! <laughs> now let's have some fun. If you make a video layer of your shot without your actor and use that as the background to the same setup with your actor, Anything that is keyed out will become a hole in the picture, showing the background behind it and rendering it effectively invisible. Here's what happens when you key out a bright blue hooded top. There's nothing like being invisible on the beach. Thank you. and by keeping some parts of the top visible with brown tape, we can get a nice stick man effect. Yeah. yeah. This is a blue painter's tape, get it from a hardware shop. And what we do with that is we simply Mm-hmm. 
I'm not really sure how this is going to benefit your film, but it's fun anyway. So King doesn't have to be all about changing your background. Have some fun with it. Use your imagination. In a future film, we'll be showing you how to key stuff out without even using a coloured background. Sounds impossible? Well, it fucking nearly was.